Well, hi again, everybody. I'm Jack. I'm Nicole. Hi. Hey, listen, you probably may have found a title of this uh, video just a little bit interesting. And uh, what's the title of it again? How to deal with a traffic stop. Yeah. We should have uh, added in America. But I, it's fine. <laughs> and I would have never dreamed that you and I would have to do a video like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, first off, first and foremost, I said, I want to put this out there. Have the greatest respect in the world for people working mm -hmm. in law enforcement, right? Disclaimer. Yes, because <laughs> they do. They Well, they do. They have incredibly difficult yeah, it's jobs. It's a difficult job, yeah. Uh, I've got friends in law enforcement, and mm -hmm. they'll tell you countlessly that uh, there are many times it can be a thankless job. But uh, mm -hmm. And we know, despite what you may hear in the news of, about, you know, the vast majority of law enforcement are good, fine people, okay? Yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't think I would do I would do what they do it's a hard job I, w I don't think yeah. I would have even the grace to do it it's just yeah yeah it can be a thankless job because people can be mean things escalate things get out of hand yes. and, and things like that but again yeah. the vast majority there aren't these giant issues things like that mm -hmm. and that's why we want to talk about today because yeah. I, I did not think we'd ever have to be doing a video like this because uh, <laughs> here's the deal. Is that car coming in here? No, they're not. The We're deal. concerned. We've, we've pulled off. We shouldn't tell oh, you. Yeah, we should, we should tell you where we are. We have such an amazing view, first of all. You want me to reverse yeah, the yeah, you should, I'll just turn around. see what we're seeing. Yeah. Um, this is rural Alabama at its finest. At its finest. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It is very, very beautiful. And so we pulled off the road here yeah. to do this. Oh, my gosh. Now, is that going to stand still? Oh, it needs to stand. Well... Okay, there. There you go. <laughs> so we, we pulled off the road. It's this beautiful little church here, this mm -hmm. parking lot overlooking these small mountains here in yeah. northern Alabama. We've just come from our hike. We just came from a hike. Yeah. But now everybody's saying, would you just get on with okay, it? Okay, 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 so, okay. So, so this so, is what happened. Okay, so we've told Let's, you about we have great respect mm -hmm. for law enforcement. Yeah. Anyway, we're traveling in rural Alabama. I mean, really rural Alabama. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're on this small little uh, county highway is what I would call it. Yes. Yeah. And I hope they can hear with all the cars passing. Oh, they by. can. They okay. can. Trust okay. me. So anyway, mm -hmm. as we're bef as we got on the trip, Nicole always puts in our destination in the GPS, right? Of course, because well, how would we get anywhere? How did people used to get anywhere without GPS? I that, do not know. That's a whole other video. <laughs> anyway. But the reason, too, I like the GPS is it tells you the speed limit the, the, on the road. On the road and also how fast you're going. Yes, yes. It, it does both. And yeah. then I'll set the cruise control. Mm -hmm. So this particular small county highway or road, if you will, the speed limit was? 45. 45 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. I set the cruise control. I think I was maybe at 47, 48. But as you know, I mean, if usually most law enforcement will tell you if you're within five or six miles an hour. You're good. You're good. Okay. So that's where we were at. So mm -hmm. we're traveling along and we're approaching this really small town yes. in the middle of nowhere. And a car coming towards me, you didn't see this, but they no. flashed their lights real fast two or three times. Mm -hmm. And in America, that means there's a radar ahead. Okay. A traffic enforcement that's checking speeds. I didn't think anything about it. I'm like, well, we're fine. Yeah, not a big deal. Nope, we're cruising along at the speed limit. As we approach the small town, we're coming towards a red light where we're going to get on a bigger highway. Mm -hmm. There's a police car off to the right. Remember I said, oh, look, there's a police car. Yes. Right as I pass the police car, the lights go on. And I said, well, I guess I should pull over. You're always supposed to pull over. If there's law enforcement, I'm thinking they're going after somebody. Yeah. So I pulled over in this little gas station. And he pulled over right behind us. Behind us with the lights on. I looked at Nicole. I said, oh, my gosh. We're going to jail. Well, <laughs> I didn't say that. But I was a little, I was very nervous. I said, what in the world have we done? I said, we're driving the speed limit. Uh, we had had a brake light that was out a couple of weeks ago. I got it fixed immediately. Yeah. So everything's good. Our uh, license plates are up to date and all that. Now, that's another story, though, about the license plates. Mm -hmm. So we pull over. We stop, he gets out of the car, the officer does, and he comes over on the passenger yeah, side. Yeah, he came over on my side, yeah. Came over on her side, and I think part of that has to do, and again, don't start getting into nasty comments about cops, and why they came to that side of the road. That's oh, not what yeah. this is about, okay? I didn't think anything about it. No, and no. I think, though, I told her, because I've had some friends in law enforcement tell me, when you have two passengers in a car in that situation, sometimes they want to come on the passenger side to make sure that on my side, I don't, you know, maybe have a weapon or something like that. Mm. Uh, but obviously I did not. Yeah. He comes up to, and of course we roll down the windows and I'm like, 
I, I'm panicking actually. I'm like, yes. what, what have what, we done? What, and what then, have we done? Yeah, and then he asked, "Do you know why I have stopped you?" Yeah, he yeah. said, "Do you know why I've stopped you?" I said, "Officer, I have no, no idea." idea. Mm -hmm. And then he tells us the big news. What does he say? He said you were going at 81 miles per hour. Yeah. He said, I clocked you at 81 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. I immediately, I mean, I, I did. I got defensive. You, get, you got defensive. Yeah. But I was nice. Yeah, you were nice. But I, you were like, no, no, no. Yeah, I did. I went, officer, I said, there is no way in the world I was mm -hmm. going 81. And yeah. I picked up her the, phone the with phone, the yeah. GPS. Yeah. I said, look, it says speed limit 45. I said, trust me, we were not going 81 miles an hour. I said, she would know if I was going that fast. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, and Nicole was obviously nervous as well. I'm like, you know, I'm like, honey, I said, you you know we weren't going 81. And you went. <laughs> no, you went not. Yeah, she knew. We mm -hmm. were not going 81. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, uh, I need proof of insurance and your registration and your license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Had my license, no problem. Then I'm panicking. You couldn't find our insurance. I could, I'm like, oh my gosh, insurance. You started insurance. looking at the glove box. You started looking at. <laughs> at my, then I remember I had the app on the phone and then I blanked out. I'm like, you couldn't I remember. remember the name of the insurance. Yeah. Our insurance. I couldn't remember the name of the insurance. <laughs> and company. I had no clue. What? She had no clue. Then finally I find it. I bring it up. I hand it to him. Mm -hmm. He looks at that. Then he goes, I need your registration. I'm like, I don't, do we have the registration? <laughs> So I'm going in the glove box. I'm finding everything from a receipt from J.C. Penny ten years ago yeah. to coupons. But also, as you're looking, you keep on saying, "Jesus as my witness, we were not going." Yeah, I said, "God's my yeah. witness, we were not speeding." And, yeah. and then when I said that, he said, no, "No, no, no, don't bring Jesus into this." Yeah, yeah. He goes, "Don't bring Jesus into this. This is on you, buddy." I don't think he said buddy, but he, he said, this is buddy. on you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is on you, sir. You were the one speeding, not Jesus speeding. We might be laughing now, but it was very scary at that point. I'm just saying. No, it, <laughs> I was panicking. You were shaking. I you, was, because when he said 81 and a 45, in my yeah. mind, I'm going, going I could to go jail. to jail for mm -hmm. this. I said, that's a huge difference in yeah. speed. Mm -hmm. So I finally find the registration. Yes. You and have. then he goes, how long have you been in the state of Alabama? And I said, well, it's been over uh, a little over a month now. Yeah. I said, we've been traveling a lot. He yeah. goes, we do travel a lot. In yeah. And, out. and uh, he says, well, he says, you know, you need to get your plate changed over to Alabama. I'm like, yes, sir. We, we, yes, that's on the agenda. Then he said, we have a license plate liner. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you know, that license plate liner, that's a violation as well. And I'm oh, like, yeah, yeah. Because he could, oh, yeah, because he could not read the name of our state. He could read the license plate number. But not the name of could, the state. Well, and you can read, it says the Grand Canyon state. Well, so it's like you put the two together. Well, you know, that's probably, <laughs> uh, technically Utah, I guess, maybe some of it. But anyway. Neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. uh, we just, we were nice and we agreed. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, sir, yes, sir, we need to do that. And uh, then I finally found the registration, like we said. Yeah. So he then goes to his car. Yes. Now, that's the most, this is the interesting part. Because when he went into his car, mm -hmm. he stayed and stayed and stayed. Long and time. Stayed. And I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at him, and I don't know what he's doing. You know, he's got an onboard computer. He's mm -hmm. typing. Yeah. So we called my son. We, and, we started, we, so we, 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 we started, we started talking and then started wondering what could he be doing? Is he trying to figure out uh, how long we need to? to yeah. I mean, I'm, jail. and I'm coming up with all these things. We're going to jail. Yeah. Then I started panicking. I'm like, you can't even drive. What are we going to do? Yeah. So I called our son and I said, we need you guys to start praying with us right now. And I explained to them the situation. I said, we're in a traffic stop. I said, I was not going 81 miles an hour. The officer says we were. I said, this could be bad. I said, we could end up in jail. And my son's like, oh, dad, you won't go to jail. You know, yeah. you'll get a ticket. That's the worst it'll be. Just yeah. take the ticket and go. I'm like, no, Eric. I said, this is a little town in, in Alabama. I said, who knows what could happen? Yeah. But and that may be here or there about being yeah. a little town. It was, but it was a little town. Yeah. But what, and one thing that I do remember he said is just don't let it escalate. Yeah. My son, a good, yeah. and I wasn't going to let it. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Which it was hard to not because I kept yeah because you were ve we were very sure we were not going above the limit and he was very sure and his he radar was very was. sure his radar went we were doing eight to one so these are two parties that are very sure mm -hmm. and there's a chance of like an escalation so so Eric said, right yeah yeah and so uh, anyway. Uh, he then came back to the car. Yes. And we've been praying the whole time. We, we had saying, been praying, yeah, and and uh, yeah. And we were saying, Lord pray. Jesus, please touch this officer's heart to let him know that we were not speeding, we're not lying. Yeah. Please, we we can't afford a ticket. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> None of this to happen. 
So he comes back, and um, what was the first thing he said? He he came back, mm -hmm. and I think first of all he said, um, "Well, um, in any situation that you're in, especially when I don't did he say don't bring, I, what I remember very well is that don't bring Jesus into the situation. Yeah, something about he he I think he didn't like us saying that for some reason, whatever. Yeah. He was more like, this is on you. This is on you. This yes. is not a God thing. This is you mm -hmm. violating the law, which in my mind, well, we didn't violate the law, yeah. but he's telling us, oh no, our radar equipment is calibrated every, every morning. Every morning, yes. And he says, it's correct. And so then I'm preparing to hear, and then he what starts the, off with the bad. Yeah, he starts off with the bad, and he was like, you know, there are three things here. He said, one, uh, you are going... Over the speed limit, which was 45, but my radar was saying 81. Mm -hmm. Two, you are, uh, two was reckless endangerment because yes. you have a passenger. Which I can charge you with speeding, reckless endangerment, and, and then three, it was the fact that we've been here slightly over 30 days. Yeah, and we needed and a license plate for this state. For the state, yes. And he tells us all that, and he goes, This is all curious consequences of. Uh, he could, uh, yeah, we could either get a fine. Or, no, not either. You could get it all. Oh, all three. Yeah, the fine, the fine, or jail time, or, or the time, or the uh, our car could be vehicle. towed. Yes. All three says all you're three. facing possible jail time, a fine, and towing the car. Yes, my heart is now racing at 964 beats <laughs> per minute, and I'm looking over at Nicole and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, if I go to jail, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I, I'm serious. And then he buried the lead. Mm -hmm. He then says... I'm going to let you off with a warning. Yep. He says, I'm letting you off with a warning. And he goes, just don't do this again. And he says, get that registration taken care of. Yes, which we will do first thing Monday morning. First thing Monday morning. Mm -hmm. We're doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we were really, really scared. And yeah. the bottom line is, you always hear these stories about these type things escalating. Yes. And we stayed calm. Uh, I think even if he said it's, we're going to jail, I just stayed yeah. calm. Yeah, especially, uh, especially when you watch it, because all I have done is watch it in the movies, and I don't think anything. Right, <laughs> right. It's only so and, dramatic and exaggerated. Right. And, so this was very, he, he was a very nice person at the end of it. Like later after we're yeah. done shaking and being scared. He, he came, yeah, because at the end, we shook hands. And he, and yeah, he, and he shook hands he shook his, He shook my hand and I held and his hand held for, a while. for a while. Yeah. And I kept saying, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you, officer, for doing this. I yeah. said, thank you. Now, obviously, I'm thanking him for something I don't think should have ever been brought against us, but mm -hmm. just the fact equipment. that he was very, you know, I think he was very professional. Well, yeah. Yeah. No, no. I'll give him that. Yeah. He, he was very professional. Mm -hmm. And I do, in the back of my mind, wonder if maybe he'll get that radar equipment checked and go, hmm. You oh. Know, <laughs> you know, uh, because I, I guess my little naive mind's thinking he's going, you know, they really were a nice couple. I can't believe they would lie about going 81 miles an hour in a 45. Because we didn't. <laughs> we told the truth. But our advice is. Placing your faith in God. Placing your faith in God. Because we, we prayed. And we called other people to help us pray. Yes, yes. Yeah. I truly believe the power of prayer. Because of the prayers, yeah. And, and I think that officer w was touched by that prayer. I think so, too. I do. I think he sat back there, and that may be why he was there for a while. Mm, yeah. He, he may have been struggling with it. He may yeah. have been saying, what do I do here? I could get him on three counts, or I could let this go. Yeah. You know, because, again, some of you may be thinking, well, a small town, that's how they make their money off tickets and all. That wasn't in the equation this no, time. No. Not at all. So uh, uh, the advice is, if you're ever pulled over for a traffic stop, just uh, you know, be as calm and collective as you can. Be very calm, yeah. And remember, their jobs are incredibly difficult. Because yeah. I, I, I mentioned before, I may have mentioned a few minutes ago, I'm, I'm going to stress again, my friend who's been a cop for years in California, he's been in Los Angeles and larger cities, and he goes, a traffic stop is their most dangerous stop that they'll ever do. He says, oh, why? well, he talked about, he says, if you go to a bank robbery, he says, you know what you're getting into. He says, if you're going to a drug raid or whatever, you know there's pictures. Oh, yeah. He goes, when you roll up on a traffic stop, he says, you have no idea That's who this person is, what's in that car with them, mm -hmm. what can happen. And so I'm sure, you know, this officer sees this couple in a car from out of state. Mm -hmm. He thinks they're going 81 miles an hour. It's like, hmm, mm -hmm. you know, so so I get it. But uh, I'm thankful to God, thankful for the call. 
<laughs> I, I'm faithful to that officer for yes. having compassion and mm-hmm. kindness in yes. his heart. Yes. So, not a, nice. not I, should, our, I should tell you a story of when it, it's like how it's like to get pulled over in Kenya. Well, <laughs> because it's not we're, the same. We're at because, 15 minutes. <laughs> It's not the same because um, I personally didn't drive in Kenya, so I was always in like public transportation, which right, we call right. matatus, right? So right. it's always a cop will pull over the bus, the matatu, yeah. and then he'll go to the driver's side, mm-hmm. and then they'll say something for like two minutes or three minutes, mm-hmm. and then the cop will go back to his car. Okay, we're not going to get into details <laughs> as to what may have happened there. We'll let your imaginations run wild. We'll let your imaginations run wild. <laughs> but yes. that's not what happened here. Yeah, here so. was, the, yeah, that, for me, that was very professional as much as it was scary. Right. Ended up being very professional. Right, right. Yeah. And again, if, and, and when you guys, you girls get into the comments and things like that, mm-hmm. let's not get into this thing about officers being bad. Let's not get oh, into yeah. race baiting and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, it wasn't that at It's all. not that. Yeah. Anybody, no matter who you are just be respectful to the officers that's true and uh, yeah and even if they decide they were to haul me off to jail like i said i would have remained calm and been scared out of my mind very scared uh but that you know god had other plans today and i yeah. think god may have used us may have used the officer mm-hmm. and now he's using this video as yeah. a message to you that above all else uh if you are a believer like us put your faith in god put your faith you know in god. you know so uh god's got our back and had our back today always yeah Okay, well, look, we are almost approaching the 20 minute mark. We never oh, yeah, go that yeah, long. we never go that long, and we, we need to head back home. Yes, we need to do that. We're going to stop and do some grocery shopping first at uh, Trader Joe's. So, of course, yeah. we'll do that. Okay, so thank you. Okay, thank you. Please keep subscribing, keep liking our videos, keep sharing them with your friends and family, and all that good stuff. All yeah. that good stuff. And that's it. Bye. No. Have, a, have a good day. Yeah, and I do want to say, have a better tomorrow, Mm -hmm. because I know we're going to have a great tomorrow following this day. Yes, that's true. Bye. Bye.